What is up guys, NYKia31 here, bringing you some Madden 16 Draft Champions footage. Doing a little bit of drafting as you can see here, and you'll also see um, a game, and you can tell by the time on this video that the game did not last very long. But I'm not going to be talking about that. What I'm going to be speaking on is a bit of a state of the social media, Twitter, and YouTube football gaming community based off of what I've been observing and seeing in the Twitter sphere and in the YouTube world and all that good stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out on a limb. And I, don't think I don't think it's a very large limb to go out on, but I'm going to go out and say that Madden 16 is going to be remembered as the game that killed the quote-unquote sim community. Now, I'm not going to tell anybody what content they should or should not make. I'm not going to tell anybody what opinion they should or should not have about the game. I don't care. That's your business. I'm just going to share my thoughts on what I believe is happening, what I believe is coming, and what I believe is here. Basically, I'm going to share some cold, hard truths. And truth number one is that this community, if it's not already dead and buried, it's got one foot in the coffin with Madden 16. And Madden 17, I believe, is going to put the second foot in the coffin, nail it shut, and bury it into the ground. No one is interested in activism anymore over these games. That's done, it's over with. And it's not because people have given in, they've lost their resolve, they, no one has infiltrated or co-opted the community. I'll tell you what has happened. And that's the game has gotten progressively better and more sim-minded gamers are coming back to the game. And this started happening during Madden 25. I play in multiple um, leagues with other sim-minded gamers and a good chunk of them are guys who have come back to the game within the past three years. Some of them are even guys who I knew way back in the old All-Pro Football 2K8 forum days. I played APF for a good four years, and I participated and contributed more to keeping that online league and online community going during those years that a lot of these yik yaks who cry and bitch over social media every day put together. That, that's just a fact. So you have the number of sim heads gravitating to the game, playing the game and enjoying the game, and being more open about enjoying the game increasing. I see this all the time. I'm not just playing the same guys over and over again in every league that I'm in. There are guys that are coming back to the game and are enjoying themselves. Inconvenient truth number two. The sim standard radio guys, the game changers, Misha Zor, Azure Effect, some F Ball Critic. They've been right about an awful lot as far as uh, where the game was at when they started this, where the game is going, where the game has come. They have done the best job, in my opinion, on providing accurate, reliable information and content. Now, they haven't bet a thousand, that's impossible, that's not going to happen. But they're batting way above the uh, Mendoza line. They are in Miguel Cabrera territory. They are contending for the batting title. They've done a very good job. And I'm sorry, folks. These are, these are the facts. This is what's been happening. So what you're left here is an increasing pool of obsessive-compulsive, um, dysfunctional nutcases. You've got this pool of people that every single day, without exaggeration, are tweeting about 
this game and EA Sports for hours on end and patrolling the internet for Madden videos. Last week, I'm watching a um, video by Gibbs and Farls. I like Gibbs and Farls. They're nice guys. They are some of the coolest people to interact with in social media that you know you'll ever meet. They have a completely different approach to the game than I do as professional gamers, but you know, I like the I like the dudes. They're they're just nice people. <laughs> so I watch them. And one of these guys happens to make a comment on a comment that I made watching their videos. And let me tell you, this exchange went on until this dude got to a point where he was dropping F-bombs. Now, I'm not going to embarrass the guy and drop a link to the video. There's no point to it, but this is how these people are behaving. I mean, it makes sense for me to be watching a Madden video since I play the game. But if that's how some people choose to spend their time, uh, so be it, I guess. One thing I've observed that I've found, you know, really odd is that fun has all of a sudden become this word with a negative connotation to it. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm not one who has a habit of playing games that um, bring me misery. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I kind of want to enjoy myself when I'm playing these games. I mean, just this evening, I picked up uh, FIFA, I picked up Pez, and while I was doing that, I found a copy of NCAA Basketball 10. That made me really happy. I was so excited when I saw that, I just scooped that bad boy up because it's been impossible to find. And I was, you know as giddy as a child. I was, I was ready to go. I'm not putting in something in my console that's going to fill me with dread. That's just not going to happen. So, you know, that's what I'll be doing. I will be, you know, playing Madden 16. I will be playing those soccer games and we got the basketball games coming out. It's a hell of a time to be a sports gaming fan, and if you're fixated on spending that time making yourself miserable trying to drum up activism over a game that no one is forcing you to play, when it's beyond obvious that the uh, constructive feedback approach has been the most effective way to go about uh, getting what we want in the game, you uh, go ahead and fight the power, I guess. So, anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you all later. Peace.